Here's what you can do during a meeting. After you start the meeting, you can click on Join with Computer Audio or go to Test Audio first. You can test your microphone and the speaker. You can also select the video settings on the left side and test if the video is working well. Let's click on the Invite button. You can see several ways to invite your participants. Invite by emails. You can invite people via your default mailbox or manually entering their email addresses into the text box here. Invite by contacts. If you've imported your contacts to the EasyTalk system, then you can invite them through the contact list. Invite by copying invitation info or link. You can directly copy the invitation info or the link and send it to your participants via messaging or whatever way you like. Right click on a participant's name and you'll have these options. Mute to mute this participant. Remove to remove this participant from the meeting. Mute all to mute all participants. Unmute all to unmute all participants. And lock meeting to lock the meeting room so that others can't jump into your meeting without your permission. Right next to it is an option to share desktop. This allows you to share your screen. If you want to share a presentation, you can click on share desktop, find the slide and open it. For sharing videos, you can do the same. Share desktop, find the video, and play it. The participants can watch the video and hear the audio as well. When you're sharing a desktop, the toolbar will show at the top in the center. Click on the pin icon and the toolbar will be pinned at the top. Otherwise, it will be hidden unless you move your mouse over it. You can click on the red square button to stop sharing. The next option is Share Whiteboard. You can present your idea effectively by illustration and texts. When sharing Whiteboard, you can click on Annotation to allow you and your audience to collaborate with each other. Next is the Chatting option. You can decide to chat with everyone or an individual person. Next is the Recording button. Click on the Recording button and you'll see this recording icon showing its recording. You can pause the recording or stop it here. Next is the Polling button. Click on the button and you can launch a poll or a survey. There are two types of polls you can set. The first is a single choice that allows participants to select only one answer. The other is multiple choices which allows participants to select multiple answers. After the participants finish the voting, you can check the results here. Next is the Move to Room button, which is for the EasyTalks Rooms solution. If you've purchased an EasyTalks video conferencing device, here you can control the device to start a meeting. Next is the More button where you can check the meeting details, change some settings, ask for live support, or go to the EasyTalks Help Center. And lastly, you can click on this button to end the meeting. Thanks for watching this video. For more information about EasyTalks meetings, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, leave us a comment, or visit our website at www.easytalks.com. See you next time.